at Niagara Falls, 150,000 gallons per second pours over the top. Four of the five Great Lakes of North America empty into the Niagara River and pour over the top of these falls into Lake Ontario to the north. As the water crashes over the top, all of the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and comes down with tremendous force. Engineers knew that they could create a lot of electrical power with this. But the key challenge was not in creating the power, but in distributing it. And if you know where to look, clues to how that challenge was overcome can still be seen more than a century later. Wow, this is truly awesome. We can see the nearly 170 foot drop. That's the same drop as the Niagara Falls themselves, but we're over a mile away from the falls. And the water flowing through here right now is awesome. Engineer Andrew Smith has tracked down the site of the Adams Power Plant, where tunnels redirected water from the Niagara River down this huge drop, driving electricity generating turbines. Only one building is left standing on the site. Wow. It may look like an old warehouse, but actually it's a really, really special place. This is the Adams Power Plant Transformer House. History was made in this building, and the man behind it was engineering genius Nikola Tesla. Tesla's transformers were the magic that made this groundbreaking power plant possible. Tesla's transformers enabled the power company to shoot electricity great distances across the country. A massive engineering breakthrough pioneered in this historic building, now considered to be the birthplace of the modern hydroelectric power plant. The Niagara Falls power plant is now one of the world's largest sources of electrical power, providing up to two and a half million kilowatts of electricity.